We're going to talk about the Google for Nonprofit program, but first, we're going to go to an underground casino to make a an overly complex metaphor work. So, follow me in, if you will, to the casino. You have your cash. You go to the teller. You're like, hey, let me get, I don't know, some money to play these games. And they're like, sir, your money's no good here. Uh, but guess what? Here are a bunch of chips for you to go to play with. And you're like, what? Where's the catch? There's always a catch. In this case, you have to know where to go and know how to use these particular tokens, these chips, for AI. I'm going to explain that. Here are some chips on the house. Follow me on this metaphor. That is basically what Google for Nonprofits Workspace is giving nonprofits with these new AI integrations, these AI tokens that you can, you know, basically use, these intelligence tokens that you can use on tools like Gemini.google.com, which is basically ChatGPT, that you can use on Notebook LM, that you can use for VO3, their video creator, that you could use for ImageGen, for generating images, and also integrations of AI into tools like spreadsheets, which have amazing upside potential. But every day, you're basically getting the house's money. The question is whether or not you use and play with the house's money or you waste it, you throw it away, not use it. Quick aside, so playing with the house's money is actually an idiom that really grew up in casinos. The idea that once you have won, let's say you've doubled up your money, everything over what you originally walked in with is like the house's money and you tend to play a bit more recklessly with that money and actually that is part of a behavioral psychology study done by Kahneman and Stavarsky that in the like 1980s 1990s as it began to make its way out of the casino language and into like Wall Street and other places people that felt like they were playing with the profits of what they started with were just a lot more reckless and didn't consider it as their money the truth is the profit and your source is still your money. You could take up your chips and walk away at any given point. And also a note that like that house's money concept tends to lead toward reckless or wasteful activity, like not using your Google uh, Google for nonprofits upside, like those ad grant dollars that sit on the side, lose it every day, or the intelligence tokens that they are handing you every single day. All right, back to the, you know, the thing. I think not since, honestly, Google's Google Ad Grant has there been such a like ridiculously generous upside to this type of nonprofit in kind gift. 2003, thereabouts, the Google Ad Grant comes out 10K a month, use it or lose it, use it or lose it in search advertising. Incredible, not nearly as leveraged as it needs to be. This is that. Think about it. I, I'm recommending to nonprofits don't even bother paying for chat gpt subscriptions these like twenty dollar two hundred dollar per per user per month right you're saving five thousand ten thousand dollars depending on the size of your team by simply using the free google tools that are out there and you know it can be hard finding them figuring out how to use them and customizing them that's like more videos to come but i just want you to get a lot more tuned in to what is freely available for qualifying nonprofits, 501c3 organizations inside of the Google for Nonprofit ecosystem when it comes to these intelligence tokens. Go play with the house's money, get as much as you can out of those tools, because it's also secure. It's under the same licensing agreement as your Gmail, as your docs. So that type of business relationship with them under the service level agreement, look, if, you, if you're trusting them with like all of your emails, guess what? You might as well trust them with your AI. And it's free for now, but as with all things, it may change. However, the Google Ad Grant's been around since 2003 and they have honored that agreement. So I'd encourage you to go check that out and find out more resources about how you can get a bit more AI capacity through that in-kind grant. Go play, go play with the house's money. Oh, by the way, this is a... Yeah, this isn't a casino, uh, although sometimes you do do play uh, a bit of cards down here. This is a uh, crawl space I turned into a uh, crawl bar. Um, so, if you're ever in the neighborhood, 